Praise the Lord. We'd just like to send the broadcast out to each and every person listening. We was believe to be a blessing to you today. Believe that you'll hear a word that would encourage you along this way. Amen. Pastor Baker. I mean, you know, we appreciate Sister Mary and them and uh, Rhonda and Lorraine, everybody that come out today. Uh, Thomas and Viola, little Jonathan, we appreciate him. And, you know, appreciate the Lord today. Thank God for saving grace. You know, Brother Mike Ferguson and all of them, we're looking forward to for them coming our way and our buddies. And, and you know, I appreciate uh, Brother Mike today very greatly, a, a great friend. And, you know, him and uh, Sister Rhonda, Sister Marie, you know how they've added to her life. And, and uh, a part of where we're at today is because these, you know, are, are many friends that's come by to help us. Ephesians chapter 1, we're going to start at verse 17. And we're, I've been mentioned on the Glorious Church probably the last three or four services and, and, and probably stay there for a little while. But we're part of a great family today. You know, and, and folks, it ain't something that we just join and you, you write your name on a church book. You know, we, we take and we accept the Lord Jesus Christ as a personal Savior, and he comes to our heart and to our life, and then he brings change, and also he brings promotion. But with that promotion, and you know, as we get promoted in the things of God, then there has to be changes, and he sets before us change. And if we, if we uh, fail to change, then we fail to promotions. And also God will take us around the mountain again and again and again, and God works in circles, and God works in seasons. And, you know, and, and as we, we grow in God, and also, you know, there's a time and uh, God has, a, I guess, his watch, and he has a, a little alarm clock set off for, for rapture. <laughs> Catch some way of the saints. I know some say, well, that word ain't in there, but the little word called up in First Thessalonians chapter 4 and, and along with verse 13. So I'll show you a mystery. We should all sleep, but we'll all be changed in a moment twinkle of an eye. So, you know, the, the Bible teaches a, a catching away of the saints. And a translation of the saints, and we're going to be forever with, with Christ. And if he's in heaven, he'll be, we'll be there. If he's on earth, we'll be there. Wherever he's at, that's where we're going to be. And uh, so we need to be ready. We need to be watching. We need to be praying. We need to be living in a way that we would be found worthy for the cause of Christ. But we're going to read several verses, and then we're going to measure a little bit verse by verse. And, and as my custom is, and, and I'll just take uh, probably just like a sentence, or something, or part of a sentence, and, and teach from it. But you know, God, God has great things in store for His church family. You know, the other night, in, in which Tom about said, "I expect and I expect something good to come your way." And I was telling Miss Tina that, and I'd heard a minister say that, and I didn't hardly believe that. Hardly, I guess I just couldn't comprehend it. But we had a little, uh, little fellow prophesied to us in 90, 92 or three. And what it done, it generated faith in us that we began expecting the blessings of God to overtake us. You know, there are people today that, that uh, you know, God says these blessings shall overtake you. Amen. So if you'll, uh, if, you'll, uh, if you'll serve me, if you'll honor me, if you'll uh, put me first, and blessings will overtake you. And, and what this little fellow does, prophesied, and it's been, you know, in, uh, uh, over 20 years ago, he prophesied, and, and, and some of, of what he said has still come to pass. I mean, it's still working in my life, but generated the faith. And sometimes you and I just need to confess the bigness of God, whether believe it or not. You know, uh, confess that we have favor with God. We have favor with man. But confess that, that we're believing that, that good things are going to happen to us that day. And a lot of times we, we take and we expect the, the, the bad things that We expect, you know, we get a car, it's going to tire up, you know, or this is going to happen, that's going to happen. And, and you all say, Amen. 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 But if we would expect good things to happen, then, then God could bless us. And we had a little, uh, little uh, a friend of ours to prophesy again uh, about a year and a half, two years ago. And it generated faith in us that God began blessing our little church. And, you know, if we're not careful, we get to the place and, and, and where we stop. And we're uh, not really seeing God move. And we're wondering, you know, we're, we're thinking something's wrong with it. Lord, what's wrong with me that you ain't blessing me? And what, what God would say if he would talk back to us is say, uh, you need to, to, to get your faith, to your expectation level up. You know, you need to expect good things to happen. So the little fellow prophesied, and, and it generated faith in me. And God gave me the faith to begin to expect good things to happen to the church in Kiwi. And God began blessing us. So we need, you know, I'm expecting good things to happen. I'm, I'm looking down the road. I'm looking over the road. I, I'm looking at the next guy I meet. You know, I said, boy, is he the one where the blessings are going to come from? Amen. 
Now, I know it says every good gift comes from God above. But, Father, today we pray as we minister your word. We're glad we're part of this glorious church, God, that we've been born into the family of God. We've been adopted into the Jewish family, God, that we're one of your kids today. And we bless you in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. It says, and here, this is a little prayer that Paul, he's praying for the church family at, at Ephesus. He said that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation of the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance is in the saints and what's the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe according to the work of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places far above all principalities, powers, might, and dominions, and every name that is named all in this world, but also in that which is to come, and have put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Paul uh, says, I say not to pray for you, 